to everybody so i am gonna be telling you guys the signs the times most times almost every single time she will want that i have to say it like that that d of yours sometimes some fellas just don't think that they have that type of peace and honestly it's not necessarily that you have it going better on than the next guy it's just the way that you have it the way that she wants it from you is the reason why she wants it and so don't ever lowball yourselves fellas ever okay so give this video a huge thumbs up and before i get started i do have two other channels and a patreon links down below <clears throat> just scrap your did you subscribe okay thanks i hope so okay so the first thing that is a huge sign that she actually wants the d the the the, the bit no it doesn't matter once again work with what you got but the big one sign that i have the first one is that she'll hit you up at night late at night what are you doing what's up or we haven't talked in a while so first of all i want to say the whole what are you doing what's up that typically won't happen off the bat because they expect you guys to message them like that but the only reason why it could possibly happen is because she's trying to start off a conversation. So it's not trying to come off thirsty, too strong, or, <clears throat> or like I want it, or, you know, she's interested. So that actually means that oftentimes, same way you guys get in that zone down there where you guys will want that opposite sex or, you know, whatever. Like, same way any person gets, she's going to get to that point. So it's almost like I'm not telling you, but she does want this instead. And so she has to come about it in a way of like, oh, I'm not that interested, but I do want to see what it's about. So this part is down to how she comes about it. Sometimes she might just come about it where she's just trying to get it for a rebound type of purpose for that moment. Maybe she's lit. Maybe she just want out. Maybe she's trying to get back at a girl. You guys do not know. That's the part where you got to be careful. And you should not already be messing around with any girl until y'all get married. Y'all know how it goes. But in all reality, obviously, in this world that we live in, it's so difficult. So it's like, don't chance your luck, <laughs> fellas. If you get that she only is hitting you up around these times to try to be around you, then it's because of those reasons. The other thing that I want to touch on is that when she does hit you late at night, fellas, it's kind of actually, if you guys don't know this, it's actually supposed to be a job for you guys to do. If you don't know today, you'll find out right now. Women wait on you guys to hit them up late at night. So oftentimes when she doesn't know if it's going nowhere or if it's serious, it really doesn't matter. It's the facts of who are you dealing with and it's her. If she feels like she's actually the one for you or there's a chance or you're really interested or if she's that girl, then she expects you to hit her up first. But you see, that doesn't happen a lot of times when women deal with guys that have other girls, have other options, have other opportunity, most definitely relating right back to high value men, right? So if you have that and also like being masculine and all that helps you. Uh, overall we have to say that so if you have all of that and you're dealing with a woman that never ever expects for you to basically never hit her up or not show any interest you should know at that moment you should go ahead and never hit her up because it's really trying to tell her that you are here and it's not trying to send no message as in i'm out of here but you are here and you're doing your thing so women like to know that she has access to that man, but when there is not enough access, that's when she acts upon it. So if you guys don't get that to wrap up with this last point is that women want to have you. They want to know that they hit you up at this time, you're there. And then also, as I was saying, women do get, so just like you guys, she might want you maybe for that moment. Now, I don't know her lifestyle. Maybe she is a woman that only wants men for their money and things like that so dependent on their lifestyle once again obviously read between the lines but most definitely see what she comes back to want you for what is it late at night she's coming over and asking you about right all those things matter okay let's 
move on and if you haven't already given this video a big thumbs up y'all know give this video a big thumbs up mm, okay so next thing on my list is that she will fake makeup with you just to break up with you and then also she'll just fake mad she'll also just fake fake everything <laughs> let's say <laughs> fellas what i have to say about this point is that a lot of women out here once again emotional by nature they kind of get in their feelings they do get in their feelings and i say both because it's like it doesn't matter the truth isn't that she's kind of getting her getting in her feelings or she's really in her feelings the truth is actually that she's just faking the fact of being upset the fact of really being that mad and then in other scenarios a lot of women do take it overboard which could relate back to their emotional by nature, but it relates back to emotional instability. So you got to read between the lines, fellas. Remember that always, always, because not every woman is the same. So it causes some sort of woman to act certain ways that that allows them to kind of, you know, make you as a man feel like you should treat her better or not downgrade her or make her feel less than. But it's not really about that. How she approaches things, how she treats you is what matters. If it's not accurate to how you should be treated, what you expect, then that's bottom line. So this part of faking it, the real deal of faking it is to make sure that you get that she, and this is the next part. Don't dismiss everything else has, I said because it's just applying to this. She's trying to get you to get that, oh, well, she's in her feelings. She's going through it. She's faking it. Okay, well. I'm here, you got to put in more work. And then the other part is, I'm going through it. You hurt me. And it's like fake hurt. Fake hurt as in, she's not really feeling no ways. She has other men. She's just trying to make you feel like the victim, right? But that other part of just, well, I'm actually going ahead and faking that or faking crying or faking upset. I'm just showing that fakeness of in, I want attention from it. So... If it's real or not, fellas, it doesn't matter. I just mentioned to you guys two different scenarios where it's because of a genuine reason or possibly she feels like, and then to how it's down bad, but it's a setup. So last things, if she's gonna go ahead and fake like she's interested, she's gonna fake like not interested as in she's interested in you, but fake like she's interested mad, which is showing that she's interested. Now, to simplify is that she's mad, but she's actually not mad and it's only trying to get your attention, which is actually showing that she's trying. So to wrap up, she's trying. She tried in the beginning from the first point that I started this conversation to now that she is trying. Fellas don't get and they don't overlook how this woman could look so beautiful and still show signs or show that she cares or show some sort of interest. Fellas, women do it all the time because validation is there, validation is here. You guys don't think that women are getting validated left and right with guys that possibly can help or give them something? They are, but it's really the big fish. And you could become the big fish involving your emotion, but involving it to having the emotional stability. Involving your money, but making her earn it, spend some money on you, and then you spend some on her. Now, it doesn't have to go that way, but you see how I'm trying to say that you're making this woman have to act upon certain things that women will not do for men. Fellas, y'all got to get that sometimes for women. And I want to wrap up with this because we're basically at the end of my video. Sometimes for women, it's going to take you as a fella to actually help her. Not that you're going to transform her. Not that you're going to make her be that woman. But if she wants to be loyal to you or not, sometimes it's just be true to yourself. Because some women don't find value in honestly working hard or not working at all. It might be the balance, which typically women ask for, but, but sorry, but if she's asking for like a guy that's hard to get a tough guy, then you have to understand that, well, I'm not, I, I'm not like that. I've never been like that. She came into my life and I was trying to be like that. It didn't work out. She can't see that. Well, realistically, you didn't have it in you or it wasn't showing. Okay, fellas, 
So if she wants the tough guy route, you got to let her go that way and she'll learn on her own if she's supposed to learn. So it's simply down to what does she want? What does she really want? Is it really you? Is it really what you can do for her? And oftentimes, fellas, it's not the truth of you can go ahead and deliver what this woman wants. So don't ever blame none of this on yourself. As in, don't blame the fact that she tells you you're so uh or uh. I don't want to say no certain things, but don't ever blame those things on you because you have the value. You have the word to get to that point. So if it's a low ball, if it's like you're not ever going to get close to that, it won't matter because if you go ahead and make actions to show that this is what's next, this is what's going on, let's say it like that to be exact, or hopefully this is a future for some people that can't make it happen right away, obviously, if you show her that, then you open those eyes, those doors of, okay, well, there is a lot more there that she couldn't have seen before of course and so it's gonna allow her to go ahead and find more value in you most definitely that she didn't see before and then also because you're developing yourself fellas don't get that you can also show how much value you have later on even if you met her as a bum <laughs> it doesn't matter even if you met her as a guy that's not all put together you think because you were not put together in the beginning and you were rich the next day she's gonna be like oh i don't want you you see that's the power of my having money but also there's power in not just having money but having other qualities and it could fall down to all the way to your personality emotional stability once again fellas you being masculine but you see how i'm saying there's in between things that i didn't even mention Right, so there's like so many different things that you guys can work with out here to make yourself become better, become more high value. But ultimately, because you guys know I always say, or for the people that are not always watching my videos, you know now, you know that I do say now, <laughs> and those before, you have to bring that value to your life and you can always bring it. So last thing, if you didn't already, go ahead and do it. There's no excuses. Make it happen. When she doesn't believe in you, believe in yourself. You have other surrounding people around you. Remember your family members. Remember those that love you once again, that can make these things happen for you. Because the woman that you guys are seeking it to happen with, it's not. And then if it is, it doesn't matter because it's not genuine most times. So in all reality, the love that you guys want, find it in the first the main, the priority places. Don't make a woman your priority. Don't make a woman your main. Don't make yourself feel like you have to find it with her when that's not the case. Okay, fellas, it's about you or make it about you if it's not. If you're the prize or you're high value or you could be that, then you have to become that guy, fellas. It's up to you once again. So I really want to say last things is that please give this video a huge thumbs up. <clears throat> And it's not complicated. I feel like every fella out here has it in them to make it happen. But I truthfully feel like not every fella has the mental stability. That's where it kind of comes down to because also showing that emotional unstableness is falling down to mentally you can't handle yourself to keep yourself together for that woman, clearly, right? So either way, keep yourself together, work on your mental health and spend as much time as you can. And most definitely, fellas, as you know, anybody would say, be around the people that love you, right? So if it's your boy or it's your best friend, it gotta be that. Don't get too carried away or obsessed about that woman, that specific woman that you think that could change your life or do things or transform things for you. All right, fellas, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And you guys will see me in my next video. Bye, guys.